Okay, good afternoon. I-share ko ulit ang semi-detailed lesson plan in mathematics ko. Um, ang topic dito is on finding the area of the sector of a circle. So, meron akong PowerPoint nito, which is nauna ko na siyang in-upload yung converted video ng sector of a circle. So, yun yung ano nito, um, attachment nito. Okay, eto yun. Um, meron akong upload na ganito na area of a sector of a circle. Naka-video, naka ano siya, naka-video format siya. Pero, pwede mo siyang um, gawing PowerPoint presentation using this sneaking tool. Okay, dito sa lesson plan na ginawa ko, naka-DLL format siya, pero semi-detailed lesson plan pa rin siya. Okay, di ba sa DLL format, andun yung content standard, yan. So, sinama ko rin siya dito sa semi-detailed plan. The learner demonstrates understanding of key concepts of circles and coordinates geometry. Okay, kasama rin dito yung performance standards. And then, the learning competencies, which is illustrate second tangents, seg segments, and sectors of a circle. So, at the end, andun yung, ano, andun yung code M10GE, ayan, uh, 11EN1. Okay, and then, kasama rin dito yung objectives. Ayan, at the end of the lesson, the students should be able to find the area of a circle, determine the ratio of the measure of an arc, 360, and number three is to solve the area of a sector of a circle and apply in word problem. Okay, and then the next, ano yung content mo? Okay, my content is uh, area of a sector of a circle. And then, andun din yung learning materials, kung ano yung mga ginamit mo. Um, ito yung pinaka-reference, the learner's module, ayan, the teacher's module, and then yung link ng web or ng, ng pinagkuhanan mo sa internet. And then, andyan din yung materials, the projector, laptop, visual aid, chalkboard, cake made of styro, ayan, yung calculators. Okay, next, sa uh, procedure naman, sa so, andyan yung review yung previous lesson or presenting yung lesson, ayan. So, dito ang ginawa ko, ginawa ko review is to recall on how measure an angle or using protractor on how to measure an angle using protractor. Recall by having a game match me so you can eat me, yung Pac-Man game. Ayan, nandun sa PowerPoint. Kung napanood nyo na yun, ayan. So, pwede nyo i-panoorin ulit. Ayan, sa Pac-Man game, show yung Pac-Man's game video. Ayan. Um, choose five leaders and give each of the Pac-Man whose mouth opens in different angles. Ayan. So, doon ako nagsimula ng lesson ko. Uh, Magpag-game. Okay, so mechanics ng game. So, ang ginawa ko, um, kumuha ko ng folder and then shinip ko siya ng according to the degrees na nabanggit kanina. And then, gumawa rin ako ng, ano, ng shape, ng pizza pie shape na kung saan yun din yung um, degrees na nabanggit ko kanina. Para ang gagawin ng bata, imamatch nila yun doon sa ginawa mong folder na naka, um, pacman na naka-open yung mouth tsaka yung pizza, ipagmamatch nila yun. Ayan. So, measure the pizza pie and match it to the Pac-Man in front. If the Pac-Man and the pizza will be match, uh, will match, they will stay in the group. So, bali, ito na din yung um, groupings nila. Um, five groups. Okay, i-measure nila yung angles using the protractor. So, dito, na-review mo na sila on how to use protractor or how to measure an angle using protractor. Ayan. So, meron na incentive. The fastest group will receive 5 points and the rest will receive 3 points. Ayan. Ito na rin yung magsisilubing groupings nila. Kasi ang ginawa kong Pac-Man is 5. Tapos yung uh, measure ng mga angles is tigli 5 din. So, ibig sabihin, pag napag-match nila yun, lahat yun, yun na yung mga kagrupo nila. Okay, so dito din yung establishing a purpose for the lesson. How the sector of uh, circle facilitate finding solutions to real life problems. So, which is masasagot nila yan doon sa, uh, sa valuing na natin at the end the discussion. The end of the discussion. Ayan, um, we have discussing new concept and practicing new skills number one. So, find the area of the circle, ayan, yung example, and define and illustrate the sector of the circle. So, ayan, na-define na nila yung circle doon sa discussing new concept number one. So, discussing new concepts and practicing new skills number two, apply na knowledge and finding the area of sector of a circle in solving word problems. So, dito magbibigay na tayo ng problems na pwede nating um, ipasagot sa mga bata na ginagayad natin sila.
Yeah, to find the area of a 30 degree sector of a circle, number one, find the area of a circle. Number two, determine the ratio of measure of the arc to 360. Number three, get the product of the area of the circle and ratio of measure of the arc to 360. Um, so, dito ituturo mo na kung paano kunin yung area ng sector ng circle. And the next, developing mastery leads to formative assessment. Ayan. So, ito na yung pinaka-application nila which is groupings. Each group will receive one piece of cake and find its area. The, le uh, the leader of each group will choose one envelope and they will now proceed to their given task. Okay, the first envelope, perform the activity like reporter or radio broadcaster. So, yun, i-represent uh, nila yung ginawa nila um, like a reporter or a radio broad. Number two, the second envelope, perform the activity like an interview style, ayan, by answering the question. Parang mag interview so interview nila yung kaklase nila, ganun, kunwari sila si sila si Jessica Soho, kung paano makuha yung area, mga ganon. And then, third envelope, perform the activity through singing. Ayan, pwede nilang ising yung ginawa nilang uh, step by step on how to find the area of the sector. Number four, or fourth envelope, if perform the activity through poem. Kaya, i-rhyme nila yung kanilang uh, pagdi-discuss and sina na plain discussion lang or report lang um, i-rhyme na lang nila yung gagawin nilang ano, pag, pag to present and the number 5 uh, make a poster or drawing of your activity so pwedeng halimbawa ang gawin nila doon sa sa sinold nila is gawa nila ng drawing or gawa nila ng background lagyan nila ng designs okay, para medyo mas um, mas um, catchy yung pag present nila ayan Ayun, dun sa pagpapresent nila, bigyan mo sila ng ano, rubrics. Ito yung rubrics na ginamit ko. Ayan, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ayan, 5, fully achieved the purpose of the task. 4, accomplished the task. 3, completed most of the task. 2, attempted to accomplish the task. Yun yung completion of the task. Then, meron din group process, ayan, and delivery. And how to deliver their um, activity. Ayan, Ayan, clear and effective explanation presentation, clear explanation presentation, incomplete explanation, na explanations. So, ayan po yung rubrics na ginamit ko. Okay, and then next, parang ito na rin yung, ano, yung um, applications in real life. Ayan, finding practical applications of concepts and skills in daily living. So, give a situation of, or example where we can see sector of life in everyday life. How the sector of circle facilitate finding solutions to real life problems. And then the next part, making generalizations. What are the steps in finding the area of the sector of the circle? Which is dapat masagot ng bata kung ano yung uh, tanong mo dito sa making generalizations. Kasi dito makikita kung natuto ba yung bata doon sa pre-nasses niyong lesson. Okay, kumbaga, isasama rin niya yung mga uh, natutunan niya doon sa discussion niyo or doon sa lesson niyo. Okay, the next part is evaluating learning. Ayan, so dito ang ginawa ko, mat quiz, which is 30 seconds question lang. Okay, gamit ko yung PowerPoint presentation. Uh, direction read the questions twice. Let the students answer the question in 30 seconds. And write the letter of the correct answer in a piece of paper. Ayan. So, multiple choice lahat. Okay, five question is okay na para ma-evaluate ang natutunan ng bata. Madidetermine muna kung natuto ba yung bata o hindi. Okay, so, ayan lang po. And then, meron din akong key answer na nilagay dito. Ito po yung mga key answer. Ayan. Ayan, tulad po ng sinabi ko kanina, meron ako in-upload na PowerPoint presentation which is nakakonvert siya into video. Ito yun, area of sector of a circle. Ayan, so nagmamatch po yung lesson plan na to dito sa PowerPoint na to. So, so ayan lang po yung share ko, yung lesson plan and the video presentation. Sana po nakatulong po ito sa inyo, ma'am and sir. Thank you so much.